Derby come away as 3-0 victors from Brisbane Road. But how high up the table does that put them? Do they gain ground on those teams above? Have the other teams won their games? Let's take a look into today's game. So as you can see here, Derby come away as 3-0 victors in round 21 of the League One campaign. Goals from Louis Sibley, Nathaniel Menes Lang and Tom Barkazen sees Derby pick up the full three points. An interesting afternoon as the game started out, very end-to-end. -end. There wasn't really no controlling party in the game. It was very 50-50. And then in the 34th minute, Louis Sibley popped up on the edge of the box with a good bit of interplay from Kane Wilson. He found himself on the edge of the box, Max Bird free on his right-hand side, but he takes the shot on and scores into the bottom right-hand corner. Louis Sibley delighted with that goal as it's his first league goal since I believe March of this year. He'll be heading into the festive period in some good form after his performance today. As you can see over on the right hand side, Leighton Orient fell to a red card within the first half and that was a decision which really changed the game. I was watching the game on Rams TV and personally from the angles I saw I couldn't quite understand why he'd been sent off. But the radio and Rams TV who saw other angles confirmed that it was a guaranteed red card and the referee, fourth official, did their job correctly. Brendan Cooper saw his game end on the 44th minute after a bit of an altercation in a countering phase with James Collins. It appears that he elbowed James Collins, but I haven't seen the footage, so I'm not 100% sure. As we can see here, Derby made a whole host of changes going into the game. Louis Sibley came into the side, Nathaniel Mendes Lang came back. There was no space for Ryan Niambi. Josh Vickers dropped to the bench. Now, Niambi was kept out of the squad as a result of some fitness issues with a knock that he had sustained. It's just come to my attention, 63% of you are not subscribed. What are you doing? Click that red button right now. Terry Sforna, another one who wasn't in the squad, he was in the squad, he was on the bench, he came on late on but wasn't started as a result of some fitness concerns with an injury he'd picked up. But as we can see, yet again, it's that man, Nathaniel Mendes Lang, goal and assist, taking man of the match of the game. And it's something that I can't really disagree with. I think we have to put out special mentions to Curtis Nelson, special mentions to Joe Ward, two excellent performances from them as well. Hopefully, we can see more of the Ward and Wilson partnership as they looked really good today. Wilson, I know it gives him a 6.4 here, but I thought he had, a, he had a good game today. It wasn't his best game, but I thought he had a really good game. Could have had a goal, could have had an assist, but he was just a bit unlucky. Now, let's scroll down to the substitutions. And as you can see, Barkhazen came on grabbing a goal. Dejon Brown got some minutes. Tyrese John Jules nearly got a three in three, but his goal was saved. So now we take a look at the stats, and you can see that Derby really dominated the game, which is as you should expect when there is a red card. That 2.64 XG is absolutely massive for Derby. They really made the most of their chances. The third goal was peak Paul Warm ball, let's put it that way winning the ball on the counter from a corner, straight up the other end of the pitch. No one to defend. It was just Nathaniel Mendes Lang and Tom Barkazen versus their goalkeeper. A little slot across, goal for Barkazen. Shall we see where that puts Derby in the league table? So if we look at the league table now, you can see that Oxford United are the biggest losers from this round of fixtures. They have dropped all the way from third down into sixth after they lost at Reading today. Derby have jumped a position into fifth. They are only two points behind Peterborough and three behind Stevenage and Bolton. Bolton and Portsmouth play tomorrow. So, Dar so depending on the result, Derby could have gained ground. If we look at Leighton Orient now, they have stayed in 16th position. They have kept the same gap to Fleetwood Town, who also lost today. And now let's see what the manager thought. So after the game, Derby spoke to Paul Warren. Paul Warren reiterated that it wasn't Kane Wilson's finest game, which Kane Wilson later came and agreed with. It is important that Derby keep together this run of form. 
We are now five wins on the trot in the league, four wins on the trot in all competitions. We head into a bunch of fixtures now, which could be deemed a little bit difficult with Wickham at Pride Park next weekend. Hopefully, we have Ryan Niambi back available as his defensive presence could be massively important in that game. We need to now talk about some injuries. Martin Waghorn sustained a calf injury on Tuesday and he is deemed for a small spell on the sidelines. We now have a proper update on Corey Smith. He will be out until Boxing Day, according to Paul Warren. That could be the first time that he is back in and around the squad. Not as bad as I personally first feared. Thankfully, not an ACL injury, but one that will keep him out of the squad for around two to three weeks. It's important that Derby try and keep this good run of form going on. With Liam Thompson coming back in, the loss of Corey Smith might not be felt as much. Hopefully, Tomo is in and around the squad for the next game, but obviously, no rush if he isn't available. Obviously, it was good today to see Dejon Brown get on the pitch. However, it would have been nice to see him get a little bit longer considering the context of the game. With us being 3-0 up and with 10 men for Leighton Orient, I think it could have been a time to bring him on a little bit earlier, give him 10 or 15 minutes, but... Paul Wall made his decision. It would have also been nice to see Bayo Fapa too get off the bench, but that didn't happen. Obviously, both players played yesterday for the under-21s in a 4-1 win against Knox County. So it is understandable why they didn't play, but I would have liked to see more of them. Obviously, Derby now have a week break towards their next game. So hopefully, players like Callum Alder and Liam Thompson will be able to prove their fitness and make themselves available. Heading into the next game, Paul Warren has some decisions to make. Up until the red card, Derby weren't exactly at the races. Yes, we were winning 1-0, but it was a very 50-50 game. A proper League One game, some would say. So it's important to think long-term we can't keep performing so iffy. We need to make sure that although we've won 5-5, five and five, we don't get complacent. We don't think we can go and just turn up and win. So I'm intrigued to see what Paul Warren does heading into the Wickham game. Intrigued whether he, he will bring back Ryan Niambi if he's fit and how he'll line up in the midfield because I think Tyrese Fauna could be massively important in that game with the legs he has. Louis Sibley was obviously really good today scoring his goal. So that's a decision that Paul Warren will have to make over the next week. If you have enjoyed this video, please like, comment and subscribe. So I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Make sure to go and find me on TikTok pictured here and Twitter pictured here. These are the places where I'll keep you all up to date with all my upcoming videos and my thoughts and feelings around the Formula One and football weekend.